hi friends in this lecture we will study about how to find out the solution of partial differential equations by using lagrange's method in last lecture we have studied about in case of find the solution of partial differential equation by using the method of grouping so in this lecture we will continue how to find out the solution by using method of multipliers so first of all so this is the subsidiary equation dx by p equal to dy by q equal to dz by r so in case of method of multipliers we have to choose multipliers l m n either l m n r constants are are variable and multiplying this is with l and this is with m and this is with n and adding this l dx plus n m dy plus n dz over lp plus mq plus nr if lp plus mq plus nr equal to 0 then l dx plus n dy plus n dz is the solution equal to 0 see in this lml we have to choose either constants or function of x y z such that so dx by p equal to dy by q equal to dz by r equal to l dx plus m dy plus n dz upon l p plus m q plus n r in such a way if this value equal to 0 then this is the solution l dx plus m dy plus n dz equal to 0 similarly you can find out one more and I find final solution is f of u comma v equal to 0 see one example solve y minus z p plus z minus x q equal to x minus y so first of all you have to compare this given equation with pp plus qq equal to r and convert into subsidiary equation so dx by p equal to dy by q equal to dz by r so p is y minus z q is z minus x and r is x minus y now we have to choose either l m n so suppose if we consider l equal to 1 m equal to 1 and n equal to 1 in such a way if you multiply this 1 dx plus 1 dy plus 1 dz that is l dx plus m dy plus n dz upon l p plus m q plus n r so this is 1 into y z that is y z y z plus 1 into z minus x plus 1 into x minus y so in this equation we are multiplying it so l equal to 1 m equal to 1 n equal to 1 so if you are adding this y minus z plus z minus x plus x minus y so this term is 0 so therefore this is the solution 1 dx plus 1 dy plus 1 dz equal to 0 if you are integrating this so integral dx that is x plus y plus z equal to c1 is one solution now find out one more solution suppose if you are using the multipliers that is l equal to x m equal to y n equal to z now multiply this so that means l dx that means x dx plus y dy plus z dz upon so l into l means x x into y minus z plus y into z minus x plus z into x minus y and check this value is 0 or not if you are multiplying this is x y minus so this is x y minus x z plus so this is y z minus y x plus so this is z x 
minus z y check this value is zero or not that is l p plus l q plus n z equal to zero or not so if you are see this so this term and this term is zero so this is x z x z and here x z is zero so like that this total value is zero so therefore x dx plus y dy plus z equal to zero so we are integrating so integral x square by 2 plus y square by integral of y dy that is y square by 2 so this is z square by 2 equal to for our convenient i have to write down that c2 by 2 so throughout cancel this 2 we will get x square plus y square plus z square equal to c2 therefore final solution is phi of x plus y plus z comma x square plus y square plus z square equal to 0 so like that we have to choose any values of l m n either constant or in terms of x y z and make that this denominator is zero then this is the solution see one more problem solve x into z square minus y square p plus y into x square minus z square q equal to z of y square minus x square so first of all you have to compare with the general equation that is capital p p plus capital q q equal to r then p value is this is p so this is q and this is r and write in that subsidiary equation so that is dx by p equal to dy by q equal to dz by r now substitute this p q r and you have to choose l m n in such a way the denominator that is l p plus m q plus n r equal to 0 then l dx plus m dy plus n dz equal to 0 is a solution see we have to choose suppose if you consider l equal to 1 by x so that means we are multiplying both numerator and denominator with 1 by x so we are multiplying to 1 by x and this is also we are multiplying with 1 by x so then this x and this x set cancel so we have to write down 1 by x dx so this is only because these two have to cancel so z square minus y square similarly m equal to 1 by y then this is 1 by y into dy here in same way we have to cancel this denominator y and this y you will get y uh, sorry x square minus z square similarly in this n value 1 by z both numerator and denominator is multiplied with 1 by z that is 1 by z dz so here 1 by z into z so z and z get cancelled so therefore remaining is y square minus x square so we are adding this z square minus y square this plus z square this minus z square cancel again y square y square x square x therefore so this value is 0 therefore 1 by x dx plus 1 by y dy plus 1 by z dz equal to 0 so integrate this integral 1 by x dx that is log x plus log y plus log z equal to c actually for our convenience we have to write down this is log c1 so log a plus log b plus log c so that is log abc now in this log of x y z equal to log c1 so therefore x y z equal to c1 see one more for this we are consider l equal to m m equal to n as a m equal to y and n equal to z so l value is x m value is y n value is z now we are multiplying this so this value we are multiplying with x dx plus y dy plus z dz in denominator we are multiplying this with x already here x is there so x into x x square z square minus y square in this term we are multiplying this with y and this with y so this value is y square into x square minus z square so in this we are multiplying both numerator and denominator with z so this is z dz and denominator so this term into z that is z square into y square minus x square so this term we are multiplying with x both numerator and denominator this is x dx in case of this already here x is there x into x x square into z square minus x y square for this second term we are multiplying both numerator and denominator is with y so this is y dy so y dy and in case of this we are multiplying with y y into y y square plus in case of this 
third term z into dz in case we are multiplying this denominator so z into z is z square into y square minus x square if you are simplify this we will get zero therefore x dx plus y dy plus z dz equal to zero if you are integrating this is integral x dx that is x square by 2 plus integral of y dy that is y square by 2 plus z square by 2 equal to c2 for our convenience we have to write down that c2 by 2 so throughout cancel this 2 we will get x square plus y square plus z square equal to c2 so therefore solution is phi of x y z comma x square plus y square plus z square equal to 0 like that we can choose l m n in such a way that in case of this l p plus m q plus n r equal to 0 then l dx plus m dy plus n dz equal to 0 like that you can find out the solution in case of method of multiplier so you have to choose l m n either l m n or either constant or x y z in variable so solve these problems Thank you for watching, please subscribe.